Well, hey, crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and look what I'm holding in my hands. It's my March Magnolia Design Company uh, Craft Club box, and I'm so excited. It just arrived. So, I did open it to take a peek, but I'm going to show you what's in here, and then we're going to do it. And I'm going to tell you all about Craft Club because I think it's awesome. Um, they've, Magnolia's only had it for maybe five or six months. I have a little box of past month Craft Club things that I want to show you too. So let's look at this one first. All right. Well, the first thing I see in here is this. And let's open it. This month, there's everything to make this most adorable little funny, they look like peeps. And Easter egg flag pennant banner thing. So you get a whole bunch of jute, which I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. And then you get this, wow. And it's nice, you guys, oh my gosh. There's 10 flags on here. So if you wanted it to be smaller, you could just take, a, take five off and use five on the second banner. But anyways, so this is in there. Exciting, can't wait to play with that. And then we have a little package that has fuchsia permanent ink, because this is fabric. Ooh, an emerald permanent ink. So this is gonna be a pink and green project. There's a brand new squeegee which is great. I'm always needing those. And if you haven't done any stenciling and don't have any supplies yet, this is a great way to give it a try because the box that you get each month has everything you need to do a whole entire project. So this is the stencil. Oh, it's so cute. And it's exclusive, which means you can't just buy it. Um, it's part of the March 2022 Craft Club um subscription and look at this these remind me of peeps oh my gosh they're so cute i love 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 all over patterns and look at those two bunnies and look at the adorable eggs okay and then it also comes with an instruction sheet and there is a video on youtube that you can watch um i don't think i need to watch the video, but if you haven't ever um, done any stenciling, uh, this new kind with these like silk screen type stencils that are adhesive, um, it might be a good idea to watch the video. Anyway, so every month you'll get everything you need to do a whole project, all the way down to the medium and a squeegee in the box. And you'll get an exclusive stencil. Usually, um, they're about one month ahead as far as seasons go. So if you're watching this video live, it's March of 2022 and Easter is in April. Um, I don't know what they'll do next month. It's a surprise every month. So I've just cut this into four pieces and I'm going to label the back of my carrier sheets with the Sharpie because I want to make sure I put them back on the same side. Okay, this is going to be bunny one, bunny two, egg one, and egg two. Okay, while we're doing this actual project, um, I will tell you how craft club works. Yes, I can get you a link, Peggy. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Last month, for the month of February, it was so cute, they ran out. And they closed Craft Club. So there were a lot of people who wanted to join, but could not, um, because they were just flat out of the Craft Club boxes for February, and they couldn't get any more of the exclusive stuff that that stencil wasn't exclusive but they couldn't get any more of the stencils at that time so it's open now and if you want to get involved with the craft club 
I suggest you order a box ASAP. And when I'm all finished, I'll get you a link. But if you just can't stand waiting till the end of this video, you can look at magnoliadiy.com. All smushed together. Magnolia, M-A-G-N-O-L-I-A, D-I-Y, all together, period, C-O-M. Um, okay, so I just cut my little pouches, and I'm going to squeeze them. I'm working off of a paper plate today. Oh, I didn't do a very good job cutting that. I think we're going to use a lot of ink, so I cut these packages all the way open. That's just part of it, of that one. I'm sure I'm going to need more. Yeah, I might as well cut it better and put the whole package, or most of it, on here. Got it on my fingers already. So normally, um, the projects don't take as much of the medium as this one's going to because there's 10 little flags. Uh, and so I'll save the medium and use it on a future project. And I also use the, um, the stencil that comes each month. I'll use it on multiple projects, uh, not just on the Craft Club box project. So they are reusable many, many, many times, and they're great. Okay, so <laughs> this looks kind of messy. Oh, thank you so much, Marla, for the stars. I appreciate that. And I didn't see the people who did that before, but thank you. Okay, so let's get started. Now, normally, if I was going to use one of these magnolia stencils on a piece of wood, glass, paper, a canvas, uh, or something like that, tin, uh, chalkboard, then I would fuzz it, which basically just means you take it off of the back and you can fuzz it on a sweater or a pair of jeans or they actually have a fuzzing towel. But we're going to be working on a banner that's made of fabric. So it, to me, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to fuzz it on fabric before I use it on fabric. So I'm not going to. And we're going to do the first four and then I will finish it up. I'll show you what we're doing with the extra twine that came and then I will finish it up. So let me see, can you see all of these? Okay, let's get these to lay flat. Wow, this is a nice kit. I'm really very pleasantly surprised. Uh, okay, so let's see, there's five pieces. I'm going to go, I'm going to start with a bunny on the outside. Bunny, egg, bunny, egg. And I'm going to do that pattern all the way across. So, I'm going to, how you get these off of the carrier sheet, which is what this is called. For me, I just fold a corner and then I can get a hold of it. And I am going to... Lay my stencil down and roughly eyeball it. I do want it sort of centered. Press it down. Okay, I'm gonna start over again because I want it to come down further. I want the bunny's ears all the way. And there's, you could do all the bunnies together, all the eggs together, you could do the, I mean, there's no right or wrong for how you do this. And there's a lot of different techniques that you can do with how you apply your ink. Jody says she can't wait until she gets hers. Yeah, I have been waiting, not very patiently, for my box to arrive. Okay, so let me tell you while I'm finishing this up here, how um, Magnolia Craft Club works. It's a once a month craft club where you get 
a box that looks like this, Magnolia Craft Club, and it is going to have absolutely everything that you need to do a whole project in it, even the surface. And I know there's some other craft clubs out there that don't have a surface. They just give you a stencil and um, a squeegee and um, a couple of things of ink. So the Magnolia Craft Club has everything you need for a whole entire project. And it also has usually some doodads like wood beads or extra jute because we're going to make some tassels for the end of it. And I, um, I think that's awesome. Okay, so let me think. I'm going to do the bunnies, a solid color, and then the eggs. I'm going to mix them up. So I need another squeegee. Okay, let's start with the green bunny out here. And let me see if I can put my camera just to switch. Okay. So if you're new, okay, so you get everything you need in a box once a month and it'll come about the same time every month so if you signed up today or tomorrow your box would be shipping out roughly towards the beginning of the next month and the month after um it's $19.99 plus a flat five dollar shipping fee and your sales tax and you get a video and an instruction sheet which i already showed you and um, they do ask that you stay with the club for three months, but after that, if you're not liking it, you can cancel. And I don't think I've had hardly anyone cancel because the projects have just been so amazing so far. Um, so that's basically how it works. Okay, I'm going to do this bunny in green. the top of his ears and um, it's a different project every month I'll show you some of the past projects they've all been super cute I've been completely tickled they keep it a surprise until the beginning of the month so they don't tell you what it's going to be in advance uh, what else should I tell you I mean it's just fun um, and what I've had people do um, is get a box for themselves each month and a box for either their sister, their mom, a neighbor, a girlfriend, whoever that might be. And they're doing their boxes together, which is super fun. Um, I've also had people who are in different groups like Bunko or Bible study or a workout group or a neighborhood group, whatever it might be. Um, that are doing these boxes as well, which I think is super fun. Okay, I'm going to get a couple of these little um, spreader things. And let me think. Actually, I'm just going to use the ink that I still have on my squeegee. I'm going to put some little blobs on these other ones. Oh, and before I get talking too much, let me pull these off and stick them. They're going to go in a little tub of water that I have off camera here. Oh, that's so cute! Until I can get out to my kitchen and then I'll spray them with cool water and lay them to dry on the counter. Or pat them dry if I'm in a hurry <laughs> with that fuzzing towel that I showed you just a minute ago. The inside of it is designed to... Oh my gosh, that's so cute! For you to be able to pat your stencils dry. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This part. So, um, okay, so I put some pink on this one and I'm gonna put a little green on it. And this is gonna be kind of like a swirly, dewy, I don't know, <laughs> mix of different things. Okay, so can you see how I have just lobs? And then I'm just going to do like this.
and then I'm pulling off the excess. And um, you don't want to go over and over and over your stencil too much because when you do that, you can have a tendency to push. Oh, that's so cute. Too much of the medium underneath your stencil that you end up with really a blurry transfer. It doesn't, doesn't look as cute. You know what? You could come back and add some little green bows on the bunnies and pink bows on the green ones. Okay, let's do this one. Let me scooch these down just a little bit. Okay, let Let's do um, around the flowers. Whoops. I did I tell you that I'm a messy crafter? I definitely am. And then I'm gonna do some green. You could also go according to the design. Oh, Vicki, look at all those bunnies. This is the cutest project. Um, one of the owners of Magnolia is, well, I think both of them probably contribute on it, but she does the designs and stuff. And, oh my gosh, she comes up with the cutest ideas. I'm like, I can use the products. I don't know if I could come up with ideas month after month after month like she does. Okay, let's look at this one. See, that looks very messy. And it's super cute. It looks almost like it's tie-dye. Oh my goodness. Super duper adorable. So I will wash those stencils before I do the next few little spots, and then I'll use the rest of the ink for that. Um, let me grab a wipe to get this up, and then let's do, let me show you the other piece of this project. And when I am all, all finished, um, I'll show you the past stuff that we've done. So please don't let me forget. I'm gonna put these out so I right here so I can see them so I don't forget. Okay. So, let's move this very carefully over to the side. So I have some room. Okay, and this that you get in your kit for March is for making some little tassels that they show in this, um, in this project on the end of the banner, banner, sorry. Oh my gosh, okay, so Terry, whoops, sorry about moving the camera. Terry Walter said she got a box, she subscribed to the craft club for herself and also for her two young granddaughters starting at Christmas and they love it. And I can't read her whole thing, but she says, Every month they look for, I'm sure they, I don't know what, what you go by, if you're grandma, granny, uh, mimi, you know, I don't know what, what your grandma name is, but I'm sure they look forward every month to crafting with you. There is so much twine on this <laughs> that you could seriously make way more than two tassels. I don't know how big I want it to be. I'm gonna say that's good. And I usually leave the start and the finish spots a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the top and I need another piece of twine. And I'm just going to run that through the little top part that was on the top of my hand. And I'm going to tie it in a knot. 
and I'm not going to cut this off because this is what I'm going to use to attach it to my garland. Okay, and then we're going to do the little thing around the tummy, but before I do that, I'm going to, and if you want your little tassel bigger, just make the loops longer. So let's just cut these and I can trim them up. And Crystal, the other owner of the company, she's the one that is in the video for this month. And she is a master tassel maker. I'm not a great tassel maker. So if, <laughs> if this doesn't make good sense, then um, watch the video for sure. Because she does it fabulously. Okay, so I'm just going to start there right on the tummy. And I'm going to wind this jute around tight. Go around the other way. And then I'm going to tie a knot. thing I could do is, can I get that through? I could just thread, let me get a piece of tape, the end of this banner through that top. That is what I should do. And maybe that's what Crystal did and I just didn't happen to notice that. Uh, okay, tell me in the comments, are you the kind of person who reads instructions before you try things or are you like me? I just start. <laughs> And then I might read the instructions midway through my project. Um, tell me if what kind of person you are. And when I'm all finished, you guys, if you have not signed up for Craft Club yet, but you think you're going to want to, um, I encourage you to get signed up, um, like, soon. <laughs> so you don't miss out. I'm, I'm not predicting that they're going to sell out this month. I hope not. That is always a possibility. You know what? I'm not sure that I want this. Do I want that at the very top or do I not even need it? I'm thinking I don't even need it at the top. Okay, and let's cut these roughly about the same length. Okay, so this is what our, our little banner looks like so far. It has the tassel on the end that we made. And then it has the mixed up eggs. And so I'll have on mine, because it's 10 pieces, I'll have five eggs and four bunnies. And I'll probably repeat the pattern going on the other side. But what do you guys think? Is this so super cute? For $19. I think it's... And I mean, you get everything that you need for this project. The, the banner pieces, which are super nice. The ink, plenty to do a whole project, if not more. Uh, the stencil that is reusable many, many, many times. A squeegee. Um, instructions. And a video. And it's going to be something different every month. So let me start. Okay, the first month that Magnolia had Craft Club, this was the project. And it actually had more orange and, and uh, natural wood beads. And it came with a whole sheet of 12 different pieces of fall, uh, it's called fall minis. And it came with black chalk paste and orange chalk paste. And then everything else you see here. That was, um, that was October, and then for November, we got this adorable, this is a book stack, we got the jute and these fun little beads, even this little greenery to poke in the pop, top, and then we got a stencil that says home for the holidays, and also if you wanted, there was an alternating piece that said gnome or no, G-N-O-M-E, but I opted to do home, and then one black chalk paste. So I think that was November. And then for December, I think, 
pink was this one. This was super cute. But it got a stencil that says, today is a good day to have a good day. And it had the black and the pink ink in it and this adorable uh, limited only to craft club stencil. And this, um, this pennant, which is super nice. Look, it's hemmed and everything. So that was December. And then January's was this adorable stencil. I'm trying to remember what it even was. I think I gave it away. Anyways, I did multiple projects because the, tr the stencil was this truck that it had a heart on it and, the, and it says loads of love and um, I did multiple things with that stencil including this. So the craft club projects have been, I think I made tea towels too that I gave away, have been awesome um, and that's really what I want to tell you. If you've been on the fence about joining craft club or not, I encourage you to give it a try and like the one lady said, if you have granddaughters or daughters or nieces or nephews even, uh, or teenagers or your mom or best friend or next door neighbor, think about doing a, a joining craft club for you and then for them also. And it would just be a fun thing to do together every month. So usually what I do here at DIY Dreaming is I do the project that they give us the supplies for, which I'll finish this off camera, and then I'll use these adorable stencils for two or three other projects just to give you more ideas of what you can do. And if I hadn't squeezed so much of my ink and <laughs> ink out on this paper plate, there's still some in the pouches, I could do another green and pink project. I don't know, I probably will use all of this. Um, but it's a really good deal, and so it looks like you guys are loving it. If you want a link, say link so I can get that for you. Then you don't have to go to my website and hunt around for 30 minutes. Um, do this or this if you liked this project. Um, check to see if you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming. Feel free to sprinkle, especially if you have friends or acquaintances on your Facebook uh, page or if you're in crafting groups where you think that you have people that would like this too. Crystal, I'll get you a link and Sharon, I'll get you a link too. Um, and Mona, I'll get you one as well. As soon as I'm done, I promise. Um, let's see, so what else did I want to tell you? Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. So that's what I have to show you right now. Um, Claire says, I'm so glad I joined the club. I'm loving it. Oh, I'm so glad, Claire. That's what I've heard over and over and over from people, that they can't believe how much they got for $19.99 and that they got the instruction sheet and a video Sherry and Denise, I'll get you a link in just a couple minutes. Okay, Vicki's asking me how much does it cost? So I'm just going to answer a few questions. And if you need to hop off, go ahead. But if you want to know some of these answers to questions. Okay, it's $19.99 a month. They ask that you stay for at least three months. But after that, if you just don't like it, <laughs> you can just give them a call and end it. It's no big deal. Um, they... I haven't had a lot of people do that. So it's $19.99 plus whatever your local sales tax is, plus a $5 um, shipping fee, which if you've shipped anything recently, you know that that's a completely reasonable price because it includes the packaging. And um, once it gets to the, the mail center, it gets to you pretty quick. So it's $19.99 plus tax plus $5. And... Marcia says she's looking forward to getting hers. Tammy says, I make her day. You're so sweet. I am so excited. I'm going to wash my stencils as soon as I'm done here. Well, first I'm going to sit down and read all of your comments and get links out to everyone. Um, check to see if you've liked and followed this page also. And thank you for sprinkling, Linda. I really appreciate it. 
Carol says her first club box shipped and she can't wait to get it. Um, yeah, so those are the main, main things to tell you. You always are going to get a surface, which is unlike the other craft club. Um, you're going to get the medium, whether it's chalk paste or ink. You're going to get a squeegee. Um, you're going to get an exclusive kind of a stencil. And then usually you, you get some kind of doodads, like all this uh, jute. Hey, Paula. Okie dokie. I don't see any more questions coming in, but if you have them, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching. I have a lot of fun stuff coming up this week, so I hope you'll come back to DIY Dreaming for projects that are going to always be pretty quick and easy. You don't have to be an expert crafter or an artist to do them. They're going to be um, pretty affordable. They're going to sometimes be a little bit unusual. And they're most of the time either going to involve faith, family, or flowers. And during Easter, lots of bunnies and Easter eggs. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Look for pictures back here later too, because I'll get pictures of this on my fireplace when I get it all finished up. See you guys later.